Mm, nice drunk. Dream TV for Super Nintendo is a quintessential example of a game with strong ideas but bad execution. This is an oddball title made by developer Trifix Entertainment, who also had a hand in another ambitious but flawed game, Space Football One on One. Dream TV is a 2D side-scrolling puzzle platformer where you control two different players on the top or the bottom of the screen and you switch between the two characters with the L and R buttons. You play through mazes and solve puzzles while destroying enemies and dodging obstacles, and as you might guess, it's two-player compatible. But what's cool here is that you can still play this game the exact same way just by yourself. And if you're not crazy about the split screen, you can press select and get the full screen treatment. There's nine total levels spanning four worlds featuring Egyptian, medieval, prehistoric, and futuristic motifs and there's nine total puzzle pieces that you have to collect from each level that's what these block things are so hey that sounds pretty sweet right it's kind of like lost vikings except split screen well in theory yes but in execution there's just one word that sums up this game annoying there's so much annoying stuff that gets in the way of what could be a good game just to give you an example i'll do a quick walk through the first part of the game Alright, so you start between one of these two characters, and they both have the same speed, size, and range of motion. No special abilities, so already we have one big missed opportunity. You make your way to the right, and you die. Yes, that green there is actually part of the background. You have to sit there and wait for a bridge to come down. Hey, let's take the bridge up, and I died again. Yeah, you gotta keep going to the right, you get rid of all these enemies in your way, and climb up these ropes. And this block-looking thing here is a puzzle piece. Then we hit up this way, and... Oh, come Come on, really? This kills me in one hit? Alright, so you have to very carefully head up this rope, and eventually you come to a seesaw. That's when you switch to the other player and meet him up there and bounce your way up to the platform. Now, this seems like it'd be a cool taste of what's to come, but pretty much every two-player quote-unquote puzzle is like this. One person stands on a seesaw or a button or a lever or whatever, while the other person goes and gets something. You eventually both have to get a key to unlock a door that gets you to the next part of the level. It's all kind of tedious and not particularly intuitive. You can do all this single player, which is actually kind of neat, but once you collect all nine puzzle pieces, it opens up a door to a boss fight, and boss fights are freaking impossible by yourself. It's just way too hard to keep switching between the two characters and put them in the exact right spots while avoiding damage. Sure, the game gives you ten lives shared between the two, but eventually that doesn't really matter a whole lot. There's also no battery save here, just a password system, and just to let you know, you have to press the select button at the title screen to bring that up. It took me longer than I'd like to admit to figure that one out. With a title like Dream TV, you might think this game may have some kind of bizarre story, and you'd be wrong. The two characters are named Jimmy and Charlie, they're obsessed with video games, and some alien being named The Critic, no, not that critic, brings them into his video gamey universe, I guess, and they have to find their way out of it. That's it. Combine that with the paint-by-numbers visual design and the lack of power-ups and special abilities, and you have one big pile of blah. So yeah, Dream TV sounds like it could be good on paper, there's some strong ideas here, and the music is admittedly pretty good, but there's just not enough here to hook anyone. The puzzles simply don't do enough to take advantage of the format. So, if you're looking for a multiplayer puzzle platformer like this, you're way better off with either the Lost Vikings games or Goof Troop or something along those lines. I wouldn't go as far as calling Dream TV a total stay away, I'm just saying, considering the ideas presented here, it's pretty disappointing. So I wouldn't go out of my way to seek it out or anything. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.